There's very limited data on the productivity of prickly pear cactus in the United States. And one of the goals is to try and address uh, that limitation in knowledge. We have graduate student trainees, we have undergraduate trainees, and we have high school students all participating in this project. Because we're going over five years, what this is going to allow us to do is determine the optimal time of harvest. That's what we really want to learn from this study. So today we're harvesting cactus and then we're going to take it back to Reno and we're going to dry it down so we can get the dry weight of all the cactus. And the point of this is that we can understand how much each different species of commercial cactus is growing. When we want to go to produce biofuels, we need to know which are the most productive types of Puntia species. And from there we can understand what the economic implications for the growth of this cactus is. I make productivity models. If you were to tell me what the irrigation temperature and light was like in a particular region, I would take those numbers and try to calculate how well plants will grow there. So it's a type of novel crop development and it allows people to basically map out where they can grow new kinds of crops without having to go there and test it themselves. And so this way we can see which parts of the United States or different parts of the world would be really good for growing crops like agave and cactus. If you look at the entire Earth's surface, 42% is either very arid or semi-arid. That's a huge land area that we currently don't make efficient use of. And with a human population that's going to be growing to over 9 billion by 2050, we need to be able to start utilizing these dry land areas. Cactus in general are very water use efficient. They use one-fifth or only 20% of the water that is typically needed for most other crop species. We can grow them for food, for beverages. Uh, we can also make biofuels out of them. We're working towards solutions that will allow us so that we can have more energy use without having a negative impact on our environment. And that's why Apunti is really exciting. In arid lands throughout the world, you can supplement up to 40% of a cow's diet with a puntia and up to 100% of a goat's diet with a puntia. We're growing these crops to try to mitigate some of the CO2 that we're putting out so you have a, a theoretical net zero release of CO2 into the atmosphere with these crops. You really need energy at the core if you're going to improve people's lives. If we can have these renewable, sustainable energy solutions for them, then they can have better livelihoods. So that's why I really love any type of renewable projects. I like this one especially just because it's an awesome project to work on.